like how did it happen like you know what was everybody at Sex in the school bathroom. Lee County Sheriff's investigators looking into a report of a 15-year-old girl at South Fort Myers High School having sex with about two dozen boys. Surveillance video actually shows these boys going into the bathroom. For In Your Corners, Lisa Greenberg is live outside of the school with what she's learning about this case tonight. Lisa? Patrick and Amy, this is not only the talk of South Fort Myers High School, it was also caught on camera. Students say it was recorded on the app Snapchat and sent around the entire school. Shock, disbelief, concern, sad. Four words that come to mind when Eric Struble, a father of two 15-year-old girls, hears what's in this incident report. It says a 15-year-old South Fort Myers High School girl admitted to having sex with multiple male students in the bathroom at the school. The report saying 25 male students were identified going inside the bathroom during the time frame the girl was inside. Students say it happened in the main bathroom on the second floor. Like, how did it happen? Like, you know, what was everybody at? 18-year-old Patisse Lynn Cato goes to South Fort Myers High School. He says everyone at school has been talking about the incident and heard it involved some of the football team. It seems to happen more, but you don't really think it's going to happen, you know, where you're at. What's more shocking? I heard a video was around, but never really saw it or anything. It just, like, circulated around. Another student tells me it was recorded and sent around the school on Snapchat. Snapchat allows you to take 10-second videos of whatever you please. And once you decide who you want to send it to, they can only open it once, and then it's supposed to disappear. But the student said some of the videos were saved. It's our job to protect our children and to, you know, teach them right from wrong. The incident happened after school hours, but Struble says parents still should have been told. Somebody should have been notified or been aware of what was going on, I believe. Meanwhile, students wonder how this even happened in the first place. You would think there would be more supervision, basically, to not allow it to happen. Now, a school district spokesperson tells me no one has been arrested, but the students involved are being disciplined. I also asked her what the procedures are as far as security goes here at South Fort Myers High School and how something like this could happen on campus, but it was after hours, so I have not heard back yet. For now, reporting live in South Fort Myers, Lisa Greenberg, Fox 4, in your corner. All right.